Hello kids, Miss Clarissa here from Bolingbrook Disciple Town. I'm so happy to see you again. This is a new month that we've been learning more and more things about leadership. And what is leadership? Leadership means influencing others toward right. Every single one of you is a leader in some way or another. You might be a leader over your little brother and sister because they copy everything you do and say. So you are influencing them. Now, what we're learning about is how to be a good leader because you don't wanna influence people towards bad. You wanna influence them toward what's right. So we're gonna be learning how to do that so that you can be just like Jesus. Jesus was the ultimate leader and he set the standard and that's what we learned in week one. Jesus is the leader that we compare ourselves to, not anybody else. The next week we learned that a good leader follows God. Oh, that means the leader needs to pay attention to the things that God teaches us. Absolutely. Well, before we get any further, Let's fold our hands and ask Jesus to be with us as we learn more about leadership. Dear God in heaven, bless us today as we come before you and learn more about your word and help us apply that word so that we can influence others and be good leaders ourselves. Help us open our minds and be willing to learn things from a different perspective and not just for ourselves, but for others too. In Jesus' name, amen. Well, now it's time to get up and get some wiggles going because it's time to praise God and, and sing with our voices and sing so loud that the roof comes off at your house. So take it away, Pastor Dave. <laughs>
That was some great singing. Now we have a memory verse. A memory verse is from the Bible, God's words that we put into our heart and our mind so that they're part of who we are. Our memory verse, read it with me. Do your best to present yourself to God as one approved, a worker who does not need to be ashamed and who correctly handles the word of truth, 2 Timothy 2.15. Paul was talking to his helper, Timothy. He was saying, Timothy, live in the best way you can so that you're gaining God's approval, not anybody else's. When you're doing something, do it so that God appreciates you. It doesn't matter if other people appreciate that or not. And so now what does that mean for me every day? I need to choose every day when I'm doing something. Do I do it for myself or my boss or am I doing it for God? I want to do it for God. Now we have a new subject on leadership to learn this week. A good leader serves others. What? I thought the leader was the boss and I tell other people what to do. Oh no, a leader is also a servant. Jesus helped other people. Sometimes leaders have to make hard decisions and other times people need a lot of help and the leader rolls up his or her sleeves and helps. There are lots of ways that a leader interacts with people. Sometimes they need to direct things and say the way something's gonna go. And other times they are gonna roll up their sleeves and help people or show them how to do something the right way. Miss Debbie has a really great Bible story about a leader and how the leader was also a servant. Where's Miss Debbie? Miss Debbie, the kids are waiting for an awesome story. Hello, Disciple Town friends. So good to see you. That's right. So let's take a look at today's big idea. A good leader serves others. What does serving others look like? Hmm. Why don't you go ahead and type down your idea of what serving looks like in our comments. Jesus shows us many, many times throughout his ministry how we can serve others. And sometimes, like Miss Clarissa said, leaders have to make really hard decisions. Now we have some really great leaders that spend some time serving others. This is a time to go ahead and grab those Bibles and we are going to get into our lesson today. So let's open up our Bibles to John chapter 13, verse one. It was just before the Passover festival. Jesus knew the hour had come for him to leave this world and go to the Father. Having loved his own who were in the world, he loved them to the end. The Passover, is when God saved the Israelites from slavery in Egypt. That celebration is still being celebrated today. Again, we've seen this story many times, right? But today, I'd like to take a look at the story a little bit differently. Let's look at it from Jesus being a leader. So let's go ahead, check out our video. Stories of the Bible. Jesus washes his disciples' feet. This is Jesus, hey who is the Son of God and the Savior of the world. While Jesus was on earth, 
He taught everyone about God's love. He healed many people from their sickness, performed many miracles like calming storms, and even raised people from the dead. Wahoo! At this time, the Jewish people were celebrating a festival called Passover that had been celebrated since the time of Moses when God brought his people out of Egypt. So Jesus and his disciples went to Jerusalem to celebrate. Jesus had 12 men who followed him through his ministry. They were called his disciples. Jesus and his disciples gathered for one final meal together. Jesus got up from the table, took off his robe, and began to wash his disciples' feet. Jesus loved his disciples, and he knew the time was coming for him to leave them and return to heaven. When Jesus came to Peter, he said, Whoa, 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 wait! Are you going to wash my feet? Jesus said, You don't understand what I'm doing now, but someday you will. No! Peter said, You will never wash my feet. But Jesus then told him that unless he washed his feet, he would not belong to him. Oh, well then, okay! Then Peter said, then wash my hands and head as well, not just my feet. But Jesus told him that was not necessary. He just needed to wash his feet for Peter to become clean. So Jesus finished washing their feet and said that the disciples should do to others as he had done for them. He told them to follow the example that he had set for them to serve each other and not think of themselves as greater than any other. Then God would bless them for doing as Jesus had taught them to do. So what'd you think? Did you take a look a little bit differently at what Jesus was trying to teach us here? It was customary for the, the servants in the house to wash people's feet when they came to visit, right? But no master would ever, ever do such a job. This was a yucky, stinky, dirty job, right? And the slaves or the servants had to do this job because it was their job. And if they didn't do it, they wouldn't have one anymore. All the disciples knew that Jesus was Lord of Lords. He was King of Kings. God had given Jesus all authority over the entire earth. So they knew how important Jesus was. So for him to decide to wash their feet like a servant, they were totally, <gasps> So that's what the, the faces of the disciples looked like. They were in total surprise. And you saw what uh, Peter said, right? He says, oh, no, no, no. But then Jesus reminded him, if you don't let me do this, then you can't be part of me, right? And Jesus was teaching him that as a great leader, you have to learn how to be a great servant too. That you have to be able to do whatever people need. That's what a great leader does. Jesus wants us to follow his example of being a great leader by following. Back to Miss Clarissa. Thank you, Miss Debbie. That was an awesome story. That story and all the stories in the Bible are not just for the disciples or the people that lived a couple thousand years ago. Those stories are for us too. Jesus served and led others from a place of love. That means all of his decisions were based on loving people and then helping them and influencing them toward right. That means sometimes he had to make hard decisions and sometimes people need big help and he rolled up his sleeves and helped them. So that's the part of leadership that sometimes leaders around here in this world forget that you are the biggest servant. Sometimes in order to influence others toward right, 
you have to show them the right way. And that's what Jesus was doing. So you might say, oh, well, that would be really easy. I can, I can love my family and my friends and, and help them do the right thing and, and roll up my sleeves and help them when they need it. Now, Jesus demonstrated the importance of serving others when, when he helped his, his uh, disciples with their feet. But we, we might not really need to watch each other's feet right now because we have these really cool shoes that, that keep our feet clean and, 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 and we don't have dirt and all kinds of yucky stuff stuck between our toes. People nowadays might need other things. They might need a friend. They might need kind words. Those kind of things could sometimes be even harder than washing feet. Now, Jesus did the ultimate service for all of us when he died on the cross. Did you know that he died on the cross, not just for the people that loved him, and not just for the people that did only good things. He died on the cross for everyone, even his enemies. And did you know that you could have a life in heaven also just by accepting the gift that he gave when he died on the cross? He died on the cross so that all of our sins could be forgiven. That means the sins of the, the people that are nice, and the sins of people that aren't so nice. But everyone has the opportunity of embracing Jesus' gift and go to heaven as well. Do you know that all of this, all of this that Jesus has done is to help us know what does God do? How does God love so that we can be just like that? So let's have our prayer and ask God to help us with that this week. Let's bow our heads. Dear God in heaven, thank you so much for your stories in the Bible that teach us how a leader should be and how a leader can show love to the people around by influencing them towards good and rolling up our sleeves and doing acts of service to help others. Please help us open our eyes to look for opportunities to be a servant leader for you. In Jesus' name, amen. It's been so great hanging out with you guys. I can hardly wait to see you again next week. So until then, goodbye. Great hanging out.